We got JD McPherson and band here. Uh, so excited to have you guys in the studio today. Thank very, you so very much. Happy to be here. Thanks. Cool. How about a couple songs and we can uh, touch base about the album and stuff? Abigail Blue, honey, is that you? Talking on my party line. Abigail Blue, honey, is that you? Talking on my party line. Is that your pretty mama? Or is it just my lonely mind? Since you went away and left there all alone, all I can do is stick by the telephone. Abigail Blue, honey, is that you? Talking on my party line. Your pretty mama, or is it just my lonely mind? Well, I got me a phone here, it's got a little ring, but if you slipped it on your finger, you wouldn't feel a thing. Abigail Blue, honey, is that true? Talking on my party line. Is that your pretty mama, or is it just my lonely Thank you. 
So tasty. J.D. McPherson live on the afternoon show on KEXP with the fantastic band, legendary Jimmy Sutton on stand-up bass. It's good to see you again. <laughs> and uh, Jason, Jason uh, Schmey on drums, and uh, you were with us in uh, Texas at South by Southwest. Um, Mondo, uh, welcome. KEXP yeah. on sax. Got Mondo Ray, Drami. And uh, Ray on uh, piano, real piano in here. Yeah. It's just uh, super refreshing. Just such a great record. Signs and Signifiers is the album um, that uh, dropped at the end of t uh, 2010, but uh, just recently came out again on Rounder mm -hmm. uh, since we last saw you guys in Texas. Uh, how's that been? It's been completely fantastic. Um, it was the best thing I think that could have happened. Uh, Rounder has an amazing team of people that really believe in the record and have been working very, very hard on it. And... Um, Good things are happening, and uh, case in point, we're here talking to you fine people at KEXP. <laughs> well, it's so. great having you here. Uh, it's just such a incredible record. There's just a great spirit and energy to the record, and I know you guys are all hardcore music lovers. The album itself uh, might, at first glance, you might go, wow, just a great R&B and uh, rock and roll record, but that last song is a great example of digging deep, sort of, uh, if you play that riff again, you know, it's uh, a lot of KEXP listeners are going to recognize that um, from the Smiths, uh, How Soon Is Now. Johnny Marr probably grabbed that riff from somewhere else. To, well, he probably got it from Bo Diddley. Yeah, it's, it's got <laughs> such a Bo Diddley groove, and just there's so many beautiful subtleties to the record. Thanks. Um, just love it. Um, so, J.D., before uh, recording the album, you, uh, you got your MFA at the University of Tulsa. Yeah, and art school kid. Yeah, so uh, did your art school visual artwork inform the way you approach music at all? It sounds very strange to say so, but it certainly does. Um, just sort of, uh, you know, the, the kind of the contemporary school of, uh, of art making is sort of like a lot of anal analysis and sort of uh, decoding and, and coding. And um, that certainly kind of causes you to to uh, pay close attention to what you're putting out into the world. And um, 
And in a way, it almost forces you to simplify. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you, you can get into trouble if you try to overcomplicate things, I think, sometimes. So coding or decoding and then reassembling things <laughs> in interesting ways. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know uh, you and Jimmy co-wrote m- most of the songs on the record, a lot of the songs on the record. Jimmy's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I helped JD. JD is, he's a... Uh, He's quite prolific the night up before the recording. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's my curse. <laughs> when, you, when, when you've got a deadline, you've got to yeah. get it done. Cool. Well, I was going to ask if there was an analytical process then in, uh, in approaching uh, the songwriters, songwriting when you guys team up. Probably, probably Jimmy help. <laughs> <laughs> well, lyrics is the thing where it's like I approach this uh, almost completely mind-numbing anxiety and then it just kind of happens. And then I say, I got some lyrics, I got a basic idea, and then we work it out in the studio. So that's... That's sort of the thing. Jimmy's Jimmy's uh, gift is that he's uh, really good at sort of injecting a lot of style into something and, and going for a hook and uh, knowing musicians to put together and really sort of orchestrating a, a studio performance and stuff. So we're very lucky uh, in that respect to have him around. Yeah. The album was recorded at your studio. Yes, it was. <laughs> which uh, <laughs> is... is uh, Pretty infamous in its own right uh, for being just a beautiful kind of old school analog studio, right? Yeah, I kind of approached it as if, like imagine some guy back in 1961 wanted to build a garage or a uh, like a, a studio in his garage, you know, in the shed in the back. Yeah. And uh, I kind of went for like that kind of setup, that equipment, you know, those mics and um, and uh, surely uh, um, Alex Hall the engineer and drummer on Signs of Signifiers uh, was an instrumental part of uh, helping me set that up. Um, so uh, there's, an, there's just a really stylish video for a Northside Gal, and uh, I would encourage all listeners to, uh, to check it out. Is that the studio? That is the studio, yes. That, uh, that, that, that video really did put my uh, attic <laughs> on the map. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's beautiful, and it's got kind of the uh, the old telephone kind of plug-in things. Yeah, it's, you know, I, cool. I, I, I'm also a, a visual cat too, like a JD, and so I kind of wanted the um, the whole studio to have a vibe and have it uh, feel very comfortable. It's it has natural light, skylights, and and I kind of went for that old industrial uh, um, a color palette. Yeah, you know. Well, uh, I'll post a link to the video on our real time playlist. How about a couple more songs? Just sounding fantastic in the album Signs and Signifiers is a beautiful thing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cole. All right, let's do Firebird. Yeah.
Nothing but a country boy. I ain't nothing but a country boy. I ain't nothing but a country boy. I be a country boy the rest of my day. I ain't nothing but an old farm hand. I ain't nothing but an old farm hand. I ain't nothing but an old farm hand. I be a farm hand the rest of my day. Across the field, but you can't run in an automobile. I ain't nothing but a country boy. I ain't nothing but a country boy. I ain't nothing but a country boy. A country boy the rest of my day. Well, I work hard every year. I see my bread ain't gonna let you women go to my head. I ain't Nothing but a country boy. I ain't nothing but a country boy. I ain't nothing but a country boy. I be a country boy the rest of my day.
Oh, yeah. Not enough people say uh, Savoir Faire anymore. <laughs> <laughs> J.D. McPherson Band, thank you so much again. And uh, what a great way to sort of end the afternoon show for a crazy week here in Seattle and roll things into uh, Shake the Shack and KEXP's summer fundraising drive. I want to thank Kevin Suggs, also uh, Susan and Janice for helping out behind the scenes. Thank you guys again. Thanks, everybody. It's KEXP yeah, Seattle. Support for KEXP.